The king was very sad and depressed because today he was going to an unknown deserted island forever. A place where he had to spend the rest of his life in solitude was his destiny. But why did the king have to do this? To know the reason, listen to this story till the end. This is the story of a country where every year the people chose any person of their choice as their king. But before making them a king, they had one condition, and that is that after one year of becoming a king, those people would leave him on a desolate and deserted island where he will live alone for the rest of his life. Every new king had to accept this condition. The people of this country believed that by performing this ritual, their country will be protected from calamities and troubles and will prosper. Today, this king had completed his one-year term, and those people were going to leave him on the deserted island with full confidence. The king, dressed in expensive and precious clothes, was riding on an elephant and people were gathering around him. The king had to go around the whole city to bid farewell to his subjects. People were playing jubilation and were extremely happy because today they were fulfilling their age-old ritual and they were also happy that today they would select a new king. But the king on the elephant was overcome with grief because today he was leaving all his luxuries and going to a place from which no one would return. There will be no one but him on the island, and he will either die of hunger and thrist or be eaten by the wild animals on the island. After saying goodbye to everyone in the city, the king was placed in a large boat and left on this nameless and deserted island. After returning to their city, these people started looking for a new king, but no one was ready to become the king because everyone knew his fate. At the same time, a stranger arrived in his city and some people caught him as a spy of the enemy country and imprisoned him. He insisted that I am a businessman and I trade from country to country, but no one listened to him. The court decided that this person should be hanged because he is an enemy of our country. A day before the execution in that prison, an old man told him about the customs of this country and advised him to present himself to be the king. At first, the man refused because he did not want to die a helpless death on this horrible and nameless island, but to save his life, he agreed with this old man. When the people of this city came to know about this, they happily agreed that this person had to die anyway and we could not find anyone who could become the king. So they made this man king with the condition that after one year, we will leave you on this island. And thus he became the king of that country. Although he agreed to this condition to save his life, but he knew that this luxury was temporary. The man was a businessman and had traveled to many countries. Because of meeting new people and traveling, he was more intelligent, wiser, and far-sighted than a normal person. He kept thinking that after one year he would go to this island. So what did he do? While thinking this, a great plan comes to mind. After some time he asked his ministers, Where is the island where people leave your king? I want to see that island. He sat in a boat with these ministers and went to see the island. He saw that the island was deserted and the sounds of animals were also coming from the island. One day he went out to inspect the island alone, and after going inside the island, he found the skeletons and bones of all the kings who had spent their time there. And he understood that it is impossible for anyone to come here and survive. Returning to the city, he started looking for people who were looking for hard labor work and were physically strong. He offered the best compensation to these people, and so he gathered approximately 300 people. One day in the dark of the night, he took all these people to the island and ordered them to start cleaning the island. At first, they clean all the unnecessary trees and plants from the island. All this work was completed in a month. After this, he ordered these workers to wipe out all the dangerous animals from the island. He supervised all this work with great responsibility and attention. Within a few weeks, the forest became clean and free of dangerous wild animals. After that, he ordered the workers to create beautiful gardens in the forest, a garden where beautiful flowers and plants grow. 
After that, he contacted traders from all over the world and bought from them birds with beautiful colors and melodious voices and ordered the workers to leave these birds on the island. After three months, he ordered the workers. Now start building beautiful houses here and build small houses along the beach so that people can come and spend their time there. After a few months of hard work, that island turned into a beautiful entertainment place. Ships passing by the island stopped there and people traveling in ships made this island their resting place. The merchant did this work on the island very secretly and quietly, and the people of the city did not know about it. After exactly one year, when it was time to complete the ritual, they prepared the king dressed him in splendid clothes, and made him sit on an elephant. The people of the city were very surprised to see that the king was not sad at all, but he was very happy and ready to go to this island. They asked the king, Why are you not sad because we are going to leave them on this deserted island? Then the king replied that very soon you would get the answer to this question. When those people reached the island by taking the king in this boat, they were surprised to see that the island, which was deserted and barren, was now inhabited by people and had become a beautiful place of recreation. That island had become so beautiful that the beauty of their own city had faded away. The king said, this is the answer to your question. Other kings enjoyed only luxury and kingship for one year. But I prepared for the coming time during that one year and worked hard to make my future calm and contented so that I would not end up like those kings. If we consider our lives, we will realize that our future is in our own hands. Our life is a canvas that we paint with our choices. The way forward is shaped by our actions in the present. What we do today ultimately creates our tomorrow. If we immerse ourselves completely in comfort and luxury, our future may be bleak. Just as this businessman built his beautiful future with one year of continuous hard work, we today have the power to create a bright future with our efforts. Whether you are a student, a businessman, or an employee, anyone can use this method. Setting a goal for yourself is important. Set a time frame within which you want to achieve that goal and then estimate the daily effort required to reach that goal. Follow your plan diligently. A brilliant future awaits you if you work towards your goal with persistence. 